The Yes campaigners for an Indigenous voice to Parliament plan to door knock on a quarter of a million homes by polling day, believing that's the road to referendum success. While opinion polls show support is slipping, they insist the reception on the ground tells a different story. The voice to Parliament pitch yes, yes, yes. Yes. hits the pavement in Western Sydney. It's like we are doing something right, we, we should do like long time ago. Others less enthusiastic. We are people out here agitating for the no vote. The Yes Camp believes people power is their ticket to a referendum victory. We're going to see um, over 20,000 volunteers across the country having those conversations, knocking on doors, providing people with the information. The Yes Army buoyed by last weekend's door knocking blitz. Of 16,000 attempts, 5,500 people responded. 48% supporting yes, 17% say they'll vote no, while more than a third of the population is undecided. I really believe that they're going to come over to support this um, when they have the simple answers, which is that it's just recognition in a practical way that gives the people a say. According to the data, the yes vote is above 50% in New South Wales and Tasmania, while the no vote was strongest in Queensland and Western Australia. It's a much more favourable picture than recent polling, which suggested the referendum is headed for defeat. It's another poll, but it hasn't changed the fact that this is a divisive, risky, permanent proposition. To get the vote over the line, the Yes Camp needs a majority of Australians and four out of the six states. Privately, they're not confident of convincing enough Queenslanders, but believe everywhere else is winnable. There is an opportunity to get constitutional recognition for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people this year. And if not now, when? After facing a fortnight of opposition questions about the implications of voting yes, the Prime Minister hit back. They are then running a scare campaign about the voice. Uh, the contradictions are there for all to see. This sits on the shoulders of Mr Albanese. He decided to go to a referendum with the timing, with a no compromise proposition. The exact referendum timing remains under wraps, but the most likely date is mid-October.